Hi, Vienna. This is Ellen. I'm really excited to see that you've enrolled in the course. That's great. So let's take a look at your first set of essays and see what you've done here. Um, okay, the one about schools. Here's what you wrote. There is a recent argument on whether schools should make teaching more playful or purely focus. Okay, so it's should make or focus. So the should goes for both, really. So let's try it again. There is a recent argument on whether schools should make teaching more playful or purely focus on education. In my opinion, playing can enhance learning by making it more enjoyable, and it can also help in building up children's social skills. This essay will discuss the topics using the study. Well, it's not the study because it's not only one study that Harvard has ever produced. I'm sure they produce studies every day. So um, why don't we say instead a study from Harvard University and Finland as examples to demonstrate the points and support arguments. Fine, no problems. You were clear with your position. Um, it was a well-constructed essay, just those little things about um, grammar. Oh, firstly, entertaining can make the learning more efficient. Not it, this is because when you use this, it refers, it can refer back to the whole sentence. So this is because when children perceive learning as a funny and enjoyable process, they can absorb the knowledge more quickly and remember it more deeply. Um, okay. Furthermore, they will have higher motivation and not initiation. You don't mean that. I think you mean initiative in their studies, which is the cornerstone for success in higher education and lifelong learning. Take an example. Um, here, I think... Um, I would have preferred, rather than take an example, how about, um, honestly, I actually like for example better. I feel it's a little um, a little more formal. Um, here, like, I don't love the, uh, this um, imperative where you're telling the reader what to do. Um, it just feels a little too conversational for me. Maybe we could have changed it up a little bit instead. Um, so take as an example, Finland, which is ranked? Now you could have done that, or um, you could have just said, for example, which is also fine. Now I do know that some people do this, take an example. It does potentially lead to some awkwardness, which is why I suggest doing something a little different. Um, so take as an example, Finland, which is ranked to have the most successful education system in the world, and it is famous for its play-based teaching approach. Its students get excellent academic achievement with high scores and international exams, S here, and high graduation rates, S from universities. Therefore, playfulness is able to increase the learning efficiency. Okay, that, that's fine. Moving on. Secondly, playing is an essential part for development of social skills. This is due, again, this. Okay, due to the fact that social skills cannot be learned solely from books without practicing in daily life. Through playing, children are able to learn how to interact with each other and work with others as a team. Uh, it is important to master the social and interpersonal skills in order to be successful in their future career and adult life. For instance, get rid of A because research is uncountable. So you can just say, for instance, research conducted by Harvard University revealed that the social skills of children from schools practicing play, mm, practicing a play-based approach are much higher. Consequently, uh, B entertaining is not without purpose and there is far more meaning behind. Okay, this was great until that last sentence. I don't really understand it. Um, so there, I, it, there's something happening with your grammar and it's just created a loss of, co of, of coherence, which is a shame because the rest of the paragraph was really strong. So let's fix it somehow. Um, and, and I think it's a small fix, actually. So let's look at it again. Consequently, entertainment is not without purpose. And there is um, far more meaning behind it. Okay. That would have made a little more sense. Um, I might have just said something a little extra here. So why don't we do something like this? Consequently, Entertain, entertainment in school is not without purpose and can have far-reaching effects. Okay, so something like that would have been nice too.
But that's just one example. Okay, to conclude from the examples and arguments given, I firmly believe teaching from schools should be entertaining, but not just provide education. All right, that's a little awkward. Let's try it again. From, I firmly believe that teaching should, mm, mm, no, it's not, let's see, that doesn't work either. Get rid of teaching, how about that? Let's try that right now. I firmly believe that schools should be entertaining and not just provide education. Okay, that works. It is predicted that more schools will, not would, will adopt play-based teaching methods S in the near future. Okay, so I think you've done a really nice first essay. Um, it's really, really good. You've used the template perfectly, really very nice. The only kind of room for improvement that I can see in this essay is uh, some of the grammar. Um, some of the grammar, it led to awkwardness, it led to a loss of coherence. And so that's what I want you to be careful about, and that's what I want you to work on improving in your next sets, okay? But as far as task achievement, um, as far as cohesion, all of that, um, vocabulary, all of that was really, really well done. So great, good job. Now let's take a look at the second essay about the enjoyable activity. Okay, there is an ongoing argument on whether interesting, mm, careful here, again, look, on whether an interesting activity can improve children's skills and creativity more than reading. In my opinion, both are important and beneficial to child development in different aspects. This essay will discuss both views using a study by Harvard University and United Kingdom, or, you know, um, okay, wait a minute now. Is the study from the United Kingdom? Because before you talked about Finland and this is kind of, this is kind of misleading. It's almost as if you're saying there's one study and it's between Harvard University and the United Kingdom. So I want you to work on some clarification here. I'm assuming you just mean the way children are raised in the United Kingdom, because that's kind of what you said in the previous essay with Finland. So if that's what you're trying to indicate here, let's do it a little differently. So this essay will discuss both views using a study by Harvard University and uh, child raising practices in the UK. Okay, so um, that would have made sense. All right. Uh, as the examples to demonstrate the points and support arguments. Okay, fine. On the one hand, fun activities such as painting, sports, or group games can enhance children's, here you need an apostrophe S, in various aspects which may not be covered by reading. This, again, okay, this is because child development also includes fine motor, gross motor, and social skills, but not just language learning. Um, I wouldn't have put a but here. I would have put an and. Okay, and not just language learning. Okay, um, and not just language learning. Okay, activities here either you need an and, an activity, or you need plural. I personally prefer plural. So, activities with painting are able to improve a child's fine motor skills. Uh, one, it's not, it's, it's not one, it's multiple skills. The so fine motor skills by training the flexibility of fingers, and this in turn, can strengthen the handwriting technique. Sports can benefit children's gross motor development, such as balancing and coordination, which are related to the attention and emotional control. Okay, get rid of the, related to attention. Okay, a general thing here. Okay, group games can let children, okay, get rid of two, because we never say let somebody to, we say let somebody do something. So. Group games can let children learn how to work with other people in a team, and obviously this can help in social skills training. Take an example. Okay, again, don't love the take an example. How about just for example, or for instance, UK, the UK, has one of the best education systems in the world, and their curriculum provides a broad range of fun activities from art, science, to sports, and music. This enables them to nurture students to be all, not all-rounded, we say well-rounded and does not only focus on academic performance. Therefore, fun activities do not just make children's school lives pleasant, but also help them to develop different skills in their growth. Okay. Um, very good. 
I'll tell you a couple of things that I didn't love. Um, I didn't love the fact that you decided to focus on three skills. I know that probably sounds silly to you, but the reason I don't love it is because I feel like it didn't allow you the opportunity to develop your ideas. Typically, we say one to two ideas. One, if you really just exhaust that idea and really just develop it very fully, or two ideas if you develop them, you know, to a good extent. But, um, you know, when you go to three, you run the risk of, of creating a list. That's what's happening. And that's kind of what I felt happened here. So let me show you what I mean. So look at this. You started talking about painting. It's able to do this. Okay. Then sports, sports can do this. And then group games, group games can do this. And then you had this one example that kind of tried to encapsulate all of them, but it really didn't because it felt like it wasn't particularly developed. It felt like it wasn't particularly relevant to all of them it, it, not in any sort of meaningful way, just in kind of like a superficial way. So what I would like to see instead from you is maybe get rid of one of these. And instead of putting your example at the end of the paragraph, put the example directly after the idea it's supporting. Okay, so um, an activity with painting is able to improve a child's fine motor skills by training the flexibility of fingers and in this this in turn can strengthen handwriting techniques so here you could have said something like um the handwriting of children uh who were engaged in painting has been found to be 30 percent better than uh that of children who do not paint so that would be supporting the idea directly after you stated it okay and that's what i'd like to see a little more of this for me is a better way of organizing um of, of organizing your ideas and your paragraphs. Okay, so that's what I would like to say. Um, so again, just to kind of um, reiterate what I've said, stick to no more than two ideas, but when you have some sort of an example, make sure the example comes directly after the idea itself and not like at the end of all your ideas. Okay. And then another thing I wanna point out to you is look at the size of these paragraphs. This one is enormous. And then you've got this paragraph, which is about half the size. And that doesn't really make sense because you're supposed to, when you have your paragraphs, you're supposed to cover all parts of the topic fully, like equally. Okay. So here it feels like you've spent this enormous amount of time focused on skills development through playing and activities, and then a relatively short amount of time to reading. So you're not really giving it equal weight. I want you to be careful about that. Now, I don't want you to become obsessive about like counting words or counting lines, but um, if you're going to spend like two ideas on on the one side of the argument, then you should spend that much time on the other side as well. OK. All right. So on the other hand, reading can improve children's language skills and creativity. This is due to the fact that books contain lots of knowledge, storylines and characters which can build up children's vocabularies and enhance their imagination. Okay, here I want to know why. Furthermore, a good reading habit can equip young children with critical thinking ability, which is essential for higher education and lifelong learning in their future. For instance, research, again, no A, but Harvard University revealed that children who spent more than one hour on reading every day improved their language skills by 30%. Consequently, children can de definitely, no, reading can definitely benefit the child development. All right, it's just benefit child development, not the child development. If you want to say the child, it should be the child's apostrophe S. Okay. All right. So let me tell you what happened in this paragraph. You've got this example about their language skills. Okay. But do you know what this sentence actually supports? This sentence supports this idea way up here. Okay. And that doesn't work because then the progression of your ideas doesn't make sense. So this is the idea and then this is the support which means that this sentence has absolutely no business being here okay because as an examiner i'm looking at this and i'm saying okay wait a minute what is relevant to what all right 
Um, so it just doesn't make sense. So what I want you to do is I want you to get rid of this sentence here, okay? And then I want you to put it right after that 30%. And then, do you know what I'm going to tell you is missing? What's missing is support for this idea, okay? You had one piece of support and it just supports this first idea, but you don't have anything for that second idea. Now, if you had had something for that second idea, it would have lengthened your paragraph so it would have been closer at least to like what you've done here. Okay. And, um, and you would have been better supported. Okay. And this is important for task achievement. All right. It'll, it'll affect your score. So those are some things I want you to look at. Other than that, I thought it was nicely done. Okay. So to conclude from the examples and arguments given, I believe both, mm, I believe both enjoyable activities and reading are essential to acquire no, you don't acquire a child better skills. Let's try it again. I believe both enjoyable activities and reading are essential for a child to acquire better skills and creativity. Okay? So, um, let me see one thing here. Where did you talk about creativity in this essay? Okay, so you talked about motor skills, you talked about emotional control and attention, and you talked about social skills, training. Let's see. Okay, here you talked about it. You talked about their vocabulary and their imagination, and then you talked about their language skills. Okay, I think you could have done a little bit more with creativity. Um, one of the things that I want you to notice, and this is really important as you begin your IELTS pass, uh, path. Wait, nope. Where is it? Okay. So what you really want to do as you begin your IELTS journey is you want to pay extremely close attention to the task. So doing an enjoyable activity with a child can develop better skills and more creativity. And then there is this... Um, comparison with reading. So for the most part, you did it. You really focused on better skills as far as I'm concerned and not so much on creativity. The fact that they have this and here shows you that they want you to focus as much on better skills as they do on creativity. Okay. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, the language that is used in these tasks is not random. It's, it's actually very specific. So um, for me, analyzing the question, making sure that you understand and that you structure your essay in such a way that it covers all the points, it's a really, really important skill. Okay, so I think you did really well. I think it's a great start. And uh, so I'm excited because you, you got a lot of the, the basic things down. All right, so now what I want to see in your next set is pulling all of this together. Okay, so I'm looking forward to it. Correct these essays, return the corrected version. Along with that, I want you to send your new essays and don't forget about your error correction list. You had those grammar things throughout this essays, these essays, and so I want you to work on those, okay? All right, so we'll meet back here with your next set. Good luck.